Hi, Ryan, and this was from the defense attorney, Kevin Gao, speaking on behalf of De DeMarquis Elkins. He says that they do intend to file an appeal. This is what they were talking about at the end of court today after the verdict was read. Also, he said, quote, unlike, this, unlike that of the state, we followed the evidence wherever it led. So again, continuing to poke holes in the investigation by the state here, they said that there was evidence that was withheld from them uh, and they they plan to pursue that. I did ask him whether or not he felt the makeup of the jury had anything to do with the outcome today because that was one of the issues that they had at the beginning of trial. He said that he wouldn't, he doesn't mean to suggest that the jury did not search their soul. However, this was not a jury of peers for his client, 17-year-old DeMarquis Elkins. He said that he lives in a world unlike most people. It is a world that is dark. He has had a troubled past with his mother in and out of prison throughout his childhood. And that uh, because of that, this jury should have had more of a makeup that reflected him. Also, Ryan, I had the opportunity to speak to an alternate juror. Uh, she said they didn't find out that they were alternates until after they were going into deliberations. As far as an appeal, she said she's not surprised about it at all. She would not tell us if she agreed with the verdict or not. I asked her if she would be able to sleep well tonight, and she said probably not, and she really wished that she would have been able to give her opinions with mm -hmm. lots of notes. I did see her taking lots of notes throughout the trial, sitting in the front row, and she was one of those African-American jurors.